Hello and welcome to IBEX Running. My name is Veronica and I will be your coach today. We're going to start off with a warm to get our body ready to do this running workout. So I want you to be on an incline of about 0.5, which is going to make you feel a little bit more comfortable with your running stride. You're going to start with a speed of between 2.5 and 4.5. So let's get ourselves started. Today's workout, we're going to be doing an interval training here. So we're going to be doing different times throughout the workout and changing up that speed. All right, this is a beginner slash intermediate workout. So keep yourselves moving. Excellent. And making sure that we're breathing, right? We're just warming up that body, getting it moving. Good, and what I want you to be focused on throughout this workout as well is what our core is doing, right? Our core should always be engaged, which is helping us with our breathing, it's helping us with our movements. So we're gonna up this speed a little bit, going into a little bit faster here. So we're gonna go into 4.5 to 6.5. Ready, set, go. And we're gonna start into a little jog here. Excellent. We're going to be here for 60 seconds. And during this warm, I want you to start to think about your form, right? Being light on your feet, swinging those arms from your shoulders. You guys are doing great already. I'm really excited to do this workout with you today. You're going to feel so good by the end of it. So I want you to continue to push yourself through each of these intervals. Excellent. You got 30 more seconds here. And then we're going to pick it up just a little bit more to bring that heart rate up. So think about that form, right? Light on your feet. Maybe a slight lean forward, swinging those arms from your shoulders. You got 10 more seconds. And we're going to pick up that interval. It's going to go from a 5, between 5 and a 7. So you can always look over here on my right, and you'll see that. Ready, set, go. Pick up that speed a little bit. You're gonna notice your cadence starts to change. So your cadence is your cycle and that rhythm that we're doing. So as we pick up speed, that cycle is gonna pick up. Good, you're here for 15 more seconds and then we're gonna bring that speed back down into our recovery pace or our jog. So back into that 4.5 to 6.5 range in three, two, one, bring it back down. Excellent job. So we're moving now into those intervals. So you're gonna have three intervals that you're going to do. One is gonna be this jogging pace that we're doing right now. This is gonna be your recovery, right? So instead of stopping during a recovery, we wanna keep our body moving, keep that heart rate up. So we're gonna jog as we go. Then I want you to bring it up to a run pace. And you're gonna do that for 60 seconds as well. And then we're gonna push it up a little bit more and you're gonna go for 30 seconds. All right, so you're gonna continue to go faster and faster. Awesome job, you got 20 more seconds here before we move it up into that run piece. And that interval, those three movements, we're gonna do five times today. All right, so I want you to start to prepare yourself now about what you wanna accomplish during those five reps. All right, you got five more seconds and we're gonna move into that run. That's gonna be between a five and a seven speed. Ready, set, go, pick it on up. Excellent, again, you're here for 60 seconds. Let's think about that form. Are you running light on your feet? Is your core engaged, right? Swinging those arms. Beautiful job. And we're breathing. I want you to try to control that breathing. Coming in through the nose, slowly exhaling out through the mouth. That's perfect. And throughout these intervals, what I want you to do, right, we're giving you that range. So I want you to pick which range is gonna help you to get through the entire workout, right? That's our goal, is to get through all five intervals here, all five sets. So you can make that progressive, maybe starting a little bit on the slower end, and then each set going up a little bit more. So we're gonna go into that fast run in 10 seconds. All right, and we're gonna pick up that speed between a six and an 8.5. You got this, ready, three, two, one, let's go, let's pick it up. Right here, awesome, you're here for 30 seconds. It's gonna go quick, I promise. Notice that that cadence changes a little bit, right? We're picking up that speed, arms are swinging, nice and relaxed. You got 15 seconds to go and then we're gonna bring it right back down to that jog recovery pace. All right, you can do this. 10 seconds, excellent. You got five, four, three, 
two, one, back to that recovery pace. So that's between that 4.5 and 6.5 speed. Excellent. You got one set down. Awesome job, four more to go. You guys are doing so great already. There you go. Again, right, I want you to take this time during this recovery pace to breathe, inhale very slowly and exhale slowly, right? Controlling that and getting ready and prepared for that next interval and what you want to accomplish during that interval. Maybe this one you go a little bit faster. Even if it's point one faster, that's going to help you make a difference. That's going to help you get stronger. Here we go. We got 10 seconds before we pick it back up into that run. We're going to go between five and seven. What did you do last time? What can you do differently this time? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go pick it up. 60 seconds here. Let's try to run tall too, right? When we run hunched over, it makes it harder for us to breathe. So we want to open up that chest. Shoulders are back. Think about that cadence. Find your rhythm. Everyone has a different rhythm when they run. Find yours that makes you most comfortable. There you go. You start to feel that difference now, right? Good. Give me 30 more seconds. And then you're going to give me a little bit more of that push. So we're going to go into that harder run. So I want you to start now getting ready for that and getting prepared for that. Because I want you to give me that little bit more. There you go. Keep breathing. 10 seconds. Try to stay even with your foot placement. Right? Each foot, we're hitting the ground evenly. Four, three, two, one. Good. You're going to pick it on up now, right? Between five and seven for that speed. 30 seconds, that's it, right? Swing from those shoulders. Drop those shoulders down so they're not up by your ears. 15 seconds here. Beautiful job. Come on, your final 10. Stay with me, and then we're dropping it right back down to that recovery. You got five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on down. Awesome. There you go. Two down. Nice job. Clap it up for yourselves. Here we go. You're here for 60 seconds again. Control that breathing. Now in this next interval, what I want you to think about, I understand we're all on a treadmill, right? The treadmill is moving for us. So we really just have to lift our feet and we're going to be able to keep that pace. When you're running outside, you got to push through the ground, right? So I want you to think about that in the next interval, pushing your feet down into the treadmill. Finding that power with every step, because I know you're powerful. There we go. 20 more seconds here, and then you're going to pick it up, right? That little bit more. We're going to make this a progressive workout, right? So you're going to go into that running pace in 10 seconds here. You're going to pick it up between five and seven. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pick it up. Right here, 60 seconds. Remember what we said our goal was for this one, pushing down into the ground, finding that rhythm, swinging from those arms. Drive the elbows back. Try not to cross those arms in front, right? Don't let them cross over the midline. Very smooth. There we go, you guys are doing it. Stay right here, this is perfect. You got 30 seconds. Right halfway through that interval. Deep breaths. There we go. Awesome job, guys. You are over halfway through this workout, which is crazy to think about because it feels like we just started. All right, 10 more seconds, and then you're going to give me that fast run pace, pushing it a little bit more. Remember, you have that range of 6 to 8.5. Three, two, one, where are you picking it up to? 30 seconds, pushing into the ground, right? We're showing that power that we have, because I know that power is in there. 20 seconds, good, stay tall. Shoulders back, drop them, good. Drive from the shoulders, drive from the elbows. Give me 10 more seconds, and breathe. Good, you got that recovery pace again. In three, two, one. 
One, good, bring it back down. Nice and easy, 60 seconds here. Good. You're on your fourth one already. Remember I said in the beginning, we got five. Two more to go, guys. Awesome job. You may start to notice now, right, coming to this recovery pace feels a bit slow. It's because you're getting better, right? So be proud of yourself. Getting stronger, every interval that you do, every workout that you do is getting you closer to those goals. 30 seconds here. Good, take this time as an opportunity to think about what you wanna do in this next interval. How you can make it better than another one, right? Whether that's turning up that speed just a little bit. Excellent, we got 15 more seconds. And then you got that run pace, right? So we're gonna be between five and seven on that speed. Are you ready? I'm ready, here we go, four, three, Two, one, let's go. Come on, pick it up. Right here. We're driving into the ground, right? Good. Hands coming up high, coming forward, right? We're not crossing that midline. Forward. Deep breaths in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. And be light on those feet. We're pushing down, but we're not stomping. Light on your feet. Excellent. Good, here we go. You're already halfway through that one, 30 more seconds. I want you to start thinking too about picking up your feet, right? Push into the ground and then lift those heels up. Think about that heel recovery as you cycle those legs, right? We don't wanna just shuffle, bring those feet up. You got that 30 second push here. I know that pushes us a lot, but we want that because that's how we get better. You got 10 seconds. That 30 seconds is what is gonna make you better and better each time. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Let's pick it up right here. It's only 30 seconds, right? So come up tall. Excellent, move those arms and breathe. Focus in front of you. We don't wanna look down at the ground, right? We wanna look up, staying up tall. 15 seconds, that's halfway, come on. There we go, your final 10. You guys are doing so great. Five, four, back to that recovery. Three, two, one, bring it back down. Bring that speed back down, good. You have one more. All right, I know as you progress through a workout, that fatigue starts to build up, right? You start to feel some of that lactic acid. So this is the point where you actually need to focus more on your form. Because when fatigue sets in, that's when form starts to break down. And we don't want to break down, right? We're strong here. So keep breathing, keep thinking about those arms. When our form starts to break down, we tend to get a little tight too. So when our shoulders come up and our arms come in, they get tight. Whatever my upper body does, my lower body's gonna do. So if I'm tight up here, my legs are gonna be tight. So let's loosen it all up. All right, remember, last interval here. There we go, you got 15 seconds and then you're gonna go into that run. Five and seven, maybe this is the time you go all the way to the top. Maybe this is the time you hit that seven mark. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, one. Let's pick it up, 60 seconds here. 60 seconds, make a change right here. Make the decision and the commitment to fight through this. You've made it this far and I know you're gonna make it across that finish line. Think about all those cues, all those things that we talked about throughout this workout. Your cadence, finding that rhythm, what your arms are doing, pushing into the ground, finding that power in your stride. Core is engaged, right? And we're breathing nice and smooth. 30 seconds here. There we go. Awesome, awesome job. Breathe. Fight that urge to hit that speed down. Maybe turn it up a little bit because you got 10 more seconds and then you're going to that final 30 second fast run. That final one here. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, let's pick it up. This is your last one. Can you go all the way up? Challenge yourself here. Come up tall, bring that body up, lift it up. You might need to come up a little bit more on your toes. You might notice your stride opens up a little bit. Really drive through the ground. 15 seconds here. Yes. We got 10, come on. Stay with me, then you're bringing it right back down. Here we go, your last five. Four, three, two, 
One, bring it back down to that recovery. Bring it back down. Awesome job, guys. There we go. Here we go. We're here for 60 seconds now, taking it down, catching our breath a little bit, but still trying to keep that body moving. We want to bring that heart rate down, but bring it down slow and controlled. So 60 seconds here. Good. Breathe. You did it. You made it through. This is just that recovery part. You did it. Awesome. Give me 30 more seconds here, and then we're going to bring it down to that walking pace. Good. If you need some water, feel free to grab some water. Grab that towel. Wipe that sweat off your face, all that hard work you did. There we go. You got 15 seconds here. And then we're going to bring it down to that walk. Good. Between 2.5 and 4.5. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on down. Walk it on out. Good. Nice and smooth. Catch your breath. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really proud of you for making it through this whole workout. This is an interval workout, right? For beginners and intermediate, and you crushed it. You did awesome. Give me 10 more seconds here. Nice deep breath, grab that water. Grab that towel if you need it. And I'll see you guys next time. You got five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice job.